Okay, so here's the deal. I've been thinking about the upgrade for the solar trike as it sits there. This is what it looks like presently. I've got new solar cells that have double the output for the area. So I'm going to more than double the, out, the solar capability of the solar trike. And I'll show you how I'm going to do it by my reasoning. Um, I would like to make some improvements to this design, although this has really worked out to be a really good design for several reasons, and I'm going to try and keep all the good things and, uh, and uh, try and improve on the bad things. Um, I'm going to try and get more shade by extending the deck, and that'll give me twice the, the power area up on the top where it makes the most difference with solar panels. and. Uh, That'll provide more shade underneath. It's uh, going to be heavy up there. That's the bummer. That's the downside. But it's going to. That alone will probably increase my uh, my output. Just that top without anything else will probably be more than it puts out now with these panels. So here's the story here. I, uh, Got the panels in. I've got four panels. It looks like I'm going to get five on it. I'm going to put two on the top, just like this, which I'm going to start getting ready to build this frame. It's either going to probably going to go around these because they're a little narrower. Uh, anyway, I can go a little wider and still fit in doorways. Although it's going to be longer and that may be out the window. We'll see. Anyway, it's going to still occupy the same footprint as the nice part. Uh, the tricycle is about six foot long, and two of these panels are six foot long. So it's going to be effectively, the top will go all the way to the front. Now I still think I'll angle the, the windshield in. Now, what I also want to do is, uh, well, the tailgate as it is now folds out, and that works for charging a lot better when you're sitting still. You can't run around like that. I want to make the sides pop out too. And so that, like the Beulah trip, we had to stop and, and charge all the time on the side of the road. And if we would have been able to do that, it would have increased our efficiency capability and, and everything got us on the road a lot quicker and it, it might have went a lot better. Anyway, with this set up and uh, with the other one, the tailgate out on it, that'll be a uh, nine feet of top deck and if the sides fold out it'd look like a cross from the top and that'll make a uh, five panels and if I make the sides adjustable you know the angle adjustable then they can face them to the Sun you know what I mean and uh, anyway so we're gonna make several improvements to the new solar trike um, it's uh, looks like number three here and uh, there'll be a small back window where the cell will be dropped down a little lower and they'll be able to I'll be able to see with a rearview mirror uh, behind me a little better um, and when it comes out it should butt right up real nice to an overhanging uh, top cell which I want to keep it in the same footprint but I, uh, I, I was looking at it and I made you know pull it back just a little bit uh, we'll see it's all about you know what what's going to function the best but this is going to be an incredibly improvement on uh, on the solar trike so you know that's where we're going just getting started it's going to be really nice really cool Okay, so what we're going to do, after consideration of everything, we are not going to put two cells on the top. 
There's no reason to mess with success. Basically, we're going to rebuild it with the new cells and essentially just like it is there. Like the original design is hard to beat. It works so well. I've already got seven going on 800 miles on that design and it just got it all the bugs worked out. Putting all that, it's going to lose all the things I'm going to gain. I'm, I would stand to lose if I try and do that too. So, so anyway, that's going to make it, uh, it's going to lose weight, gain power, double the power. It's going to have double the power and it's going to lose somewhere between 20 and 30 pounds, which is substantial. And with the design improvements, hopefully, it'll even be more rigid than it was and, uh, and quite a bit safer and, and uh, manageable and lighter and still actually fit in smaller doorways. So that's that, that you know, anyway, uh, I've got a couple good ideas. I'm going to still try and make the sides swing out. I just, I got to try and that'll add a little weight, but if I can do that, for side of the road charging, that would be really handy. And uh, so I got these here, uh, thinking that maybe I'll be able to use these. They weren't too too expensive, and uh, got lefts and rights. So if those will hold it out, hold the sides out, then they might work pretty good. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll show you when we get things together here. Anyway. Um, none of this fancy stuff. We're just going to go with what worked. There's no reason to mess with success. We're going to make so many great improvements with this design. We're, well, we're going to keep all the good stuff from the design. We're just going to improve on what we... Uh, anyway, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm out. Got all done here. Short order. Got the foot down the sides. The foot down back. The flip up. <laughs> That's just all upside down right now. Each one of those will have a solar panel on it. And uh, they'll all be able to be exposed to the sun a little better. Um, they'll all be able to hinge out them. Um, all I got, this will be the windshield up here and the headlights and turn signals. And the turn signals will be back here on the back. So, looks like it's going to be pretty pretty cool. The pieces are cut, um, essentially, except for the windshield and uh, whatnot. But that's uh, ambiguous because I'm not sure how high it's going to ride when I put it together on there. Anyway, we'll see. It's looking pretty good so far, though. Here. 